How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. And today we're going to be talking about Ninja. Yes, the Fortnite streamer who plays with Drake and breaks records and just does everything crazy on Twitch. Well, if you don't re know or don't remember, Ninja was actually quite the Halo player back in the day. He's uh, one of the best uh, Halo 3 pros at the time, back in the uh, old, 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 like 2009 MLG days. Like, I used to watch that guy play all the time, and he was fantastic at Halo. He even streamed Halo 5 when it first came out as well. But, you know, after just, I guess maybe it wasn't his style of game, or maybe it just things weren't working out, he kind of dropped it, and now he's, now he's playing Fortnite and just getting crazy amount of publicity. But the thing is, though, we all know Ninja is a diehard Halo fan at heart, because he's played every single Halo since he's probably played video games, is my guess. And he... I have a feeling that he, most likely he will be playing Halo 6 when that game drops. When that next major Halo release comes out, he probably will play it, at least for the first day, for the first week even, for to get those new views, hypes, and all that kind of stuff in there. And what I want to talk about in this video is, can Ninja bring a surge of attention to the Halo franchise and give it a big shot in the arm of adrenaline going like, yes, we're back, baby, we're going strong. So in case you guys don't remember or haven't heard, yeah, Ninja played with Drake, the rapper. Yeah, that guy. Well, when he played Fortnite with Drake, he literally broke, Ninja broke records on Twitch. It was insane. The peak concurrent viewer count was 635,000 people watching Ninja play with Drake at one time. There were big name rappers in the chat as well, talking about, you know, getting in the game and stuff like that. And you saw some other big name sports celebrities as well I've mentioned like, hey man, I gotta get myself some Fortnite. You know, and just like that, that boost of attention right there probably gave a huge uh, amount of publicity for one for Ninja, because he's even on, he got mentioned on TV, he had interviews on TV about this live stream, and I guarantee you Fortnite absolutely loves this, because if the biggest guy in Twitch is streaming your game, and celebrities are talking about your game, you're going to get a lot more money coming your way, that's for sure. And so, it kind of brought into my mind the influence streamers have on games. I recently read an article on Twitch and this article was talking about how Twitch streaming has an effect on game sales. Now we do have a rather general idea of like, yeah, I would assume that it would probably help sell, make you know, games sell better, but we don't know exactly how much. Well, this article from a, on the blog post on Twitch actually kind of goes into a little bit of that. Uh, one game they actually brought up quite often was a game called Punch Club, and from the sales, according to what, we're, what was on uh, Steam, linked viewers on Twitch who ended up buying that game, uh, Punch Club attributed Twitch to promoting their game to boosting 25% higher sales of their game because of people streaming on Twitch. Now there are other games as well, like The Culling, uh, about 25% of their sales were attributed to Twitch streaming. Tom Clancy's The Division, right about 18% it looks like. Uh, Hurt World, right about 15. Squad, about 13. And H1Z1 since 2015, which you know they were one of the first big Battle Royale game modes. They attributed about maybe 8% uh, it looks like on of sales from Twitch. Now, how can we also apply that to Halo? Because uh, that would be f absolutely fantastic if we can get these kind of boosted numbers from Twitch and boost that to Halo to get that popularity going again. I mean, obviously, it's really dependent on how good the game is. Because if the game is good, people are going to keep playing it. Because this article also mentions that Twitch viewers generally have a higher retention rate on a game than your standard players or standard retention rate. That if you have a player who is watching on Twitch and playing the game, they're gonna keep you know playing that game and keep you know stay inside that ecosystem of the game that of the what the developers create. Now referring back to Ninja though, I just checked the stream just randomly one evening around like six o'clock on the West Coast of my time here, and at any given time, Ninja has anywhere from a hundred to a hundred twenty thousand people watching his live stream. And that's just an insane number to think about. And then if we can think about bringing that amount of people into playing Halo as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. Just getting that notoriety, getting the name out, letting people know about the fantasticness that Halo 
Halo has to offer the people. And as a Ninja's audience are very first-person shooter based, obviously, because he built his name on the Halo franchise, but then exploded on Fortnite. And you have other streamers as well, I guarantee, who will be willing to play a little Halo on their last games. I guarantee you, Dr. Disrespect will probably be one of those guys. He's talked about on his live streams about how he kind of would like to see a uh, classic form of Halo return back to the game. So maybe when the game first comes out, he'll probably play it for a little bit. And I guarantee there might even be some big name COD guys, maybe even some uh, Bun uh, Destiny guys as well. You never know. Like there's a lot of possibilities that can happen with Twitch here. So I would love to see uh, a lot more integration with Twitch when it comes to the next Halo. And I think that someone like Ninja can really help make uh, Halo back into the forefront one of the biggest shooters that could possibly be out there because 343 makes a great Halo game and say it appeals to a lot of the uh, players out there say Ninja for example like I'm saying and if he continues to play the game they will continue to bring in more sales more people in the game and if people are watching Ninja play uh, Halo and they're going to be playing it themselves they're going to be sticking with Halo as well and keeping the conversation going about Halo as a major contender in the FPS arena as a whole so let me know in the comment section down below guys what you think about that do you think Ninja has the ability to spark Halo to become one of the like, maybe top 10 most streamed games on Twitch right now because right now on, for, for most of the time there's about 2,000 people watching Halo 5 at any given moment but can Ninja probably spark that to get that up to like 50,000 maybe? You never know. It's all, the possibilities are really endless and it all depends on whether or not you know, Ninja likes the game or if, if his audience will you know, gravitate towards a game like Halo. Do you think uh, Ninja will kind of just come in, play for the views, and then go back to Fortnite or whatever the hottest game is at that time? Or do you think if, you know, since I do believe that Ninja is a hardcore Halo fan, he genuinely enjoys the game, do you think if it's going to be a good game, do you think that he'll, st and if a game that he likes, do you think he'll stick with it and kind of keep that publicity going? He has a lot of power within his hands right here, as you can tell. And so, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the commentary. Uh, leave a comment what you think about Ninja and what do you think he'll play for the, just the opening week, or you think he'll stick with the game. Uh, do you think his heart lies within the Halo community? And if you're new to the channel and like more commentaries like this, tap to subscribe because we're always uploading awesomeness to this channel. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.